risotto. That's what you've called it. I call it a risotto, even though there's no rice and no stirring. Is it right. closer to a, a, a rice pilaf? Maybe. Yeah. But what I know is that it's full of taste. It's nice. You can present it on your table. Thanksgiving is coming. I mean, mm. that, that would be perfect to go with turkey. It can be its own thing. It can be a side dish. Yes. And you use wheat berry, which is something a lot of people don't know about. No, or I mean, don't use. even when we created a recipe, it's just, we never use this. Yeah. And uh, so, like this, it comes in, in bags like this. This yeah. is how it's written on it. There's many companies who actually offer it, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what you're looking for. And it's a bit like beans. You have to soak these grains before you use them. So, so overnight. I'll just show you. This, these are unsoaked grain, yeah. and these are after 12 hours. We can see the difference in size. Mm -hmm. So that's very important. So and size matters. Yeah, yeah you that's what people say. You want, that's what they say. 12 hours in water. Right. Then, in the, in the pot, uh -huh. just roll some garlic and olive oil or butter. So good. And then add four onions, just roughly cut, and half a pound of white mushrooms. Okay. And you want to just, Saute them until they have browned, exactly like this. We love to caramelize ingredients. It adds a lot of flavor. I'll it just sure put does, and all of this stuff is easily accessible. It I has mean, to. Your market right now, your farmer's market right now, is just bursting with flavor. It's, it's burst. Actually, time. I mean, the onions are local. Yeah. The squat, everything I use here, most of everything, is local. It's nice. So it's time to deglaze. Okay, let's deglaze. Deglaze with half a cup of red wine. wine white wine. <laughs> if you were That's having... all that deglaze means to me. Wine. Wine. It could yeah. be beer also. Okay, all Or good. if you don't want to use any alcohol. Yes. You could add some beef broth or chicken broth or all even good. vegetable broth if you want to keep it vegetarian. So okay. let's deglaze. Yep. As soon as we have removed every single bit parts of the bottom, let's add our grains. All right. So you're putting in what, like a cup, two cups? Well, it's half a cup that will. Uh, it's a cup that you let soak. Okay. So it looks more like uh, one and a half cups. Okay. All right. One liter of water. All right. Then you will cover and let it simmer gently for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. After 30 minutes, you remove the lid and you let it simmer for another 30 minutes. You're not uh, stirring this whole time though. Never you stir it. It's like there. when you cook rice. Yeah. And then you taste it and it's an al dente grain. Mm -hmm. It means it stays firm under the tooth. If you want to cook it longer, sometimes you need to add a bit of water. Okay. Just to make sure it yeah. doesn't, yeah. Just like rice. Meanwhile, okay. we have took care of a shallot. Uh -huh. Slice it. Roast it with any local mushroom you have in they the market. They great. I have used oyster mushrooms. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Your recipe is almost done. Yeah, and okay. finally, while this is cooking, you will put on a baking sheet like this, some, I mean, acorn squash, mm -hmm. carrots, anything local. Drizzle it with olive oil, a bit of butter. Cover it with foil like this, totally covered. In the oven, 425 for about 30 minutes. Okay. Then you remove the, the, the foil and let it roast for another 15 minutes and you will have roasted vegetables like this. Perfect. What's beautiful about this, this is a recipe in itself. It is. You could put this in a dish, serve it as side dish, and it's great. Squashes, I mean, we should eat more. It's yeah. local, it's really good, it's inexpensive. It's really good for you You too. can keep this on your counter for, for months at yeah. room temperature, so sometimes, you know, the, the fridge is jammed. You're like it's me, really you nice. keep stuff on your counter for months at room temperature. I'm like that. It's it's a very West Indian thing. Like the pots just stay on the stove. <laughs> yeah, there's no right. room in the fridge for it. Just keep it on the stove. Look at this. It's still creamy. Oh, this is what we want. Good. And you will add these vegetables on it it's just to make it look good. Everything is warm. The carrots. Mm -hmm. It's a festive dish. It is. You know, and you finalize this with your oysters mushroom like this. Oh, look, look at that. this. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, and just a bit of fish parsley. Say you will look like, like, I mean, you own a restaurant. Genius. It's just genius. a genius. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs>